Hi all, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we will see pharmacist previous year question paper along with their explanation. This is MP Vyabam Group 5 question paper. This is the part 3. We already discussed two parts before. So you can check the description box for the link of those videos. So we can move to the first question of this video. The term human poverty index was introduced in which year? The term human poverty index was introduced in which year? Options are 1996, 1997, 1994, 1995. The correct answer for this question is 1997. The term human poverty index was introduced in 1997 the human poverty index was an indication of the poverty of community in a country it indicates human poverty indi index indicates the poverty of community in a country in india it is first reported in 1997 Next question, in CNS, that is central nervous system, the main excitatory neurotransmitter is, in CNS, the main excitatory neurotransmitter is, options are GABA, glutamate, glycine, dopamine, the correct answer is glutamate, the question is main excitatory neurotransmitter, so the correct answer is glutamate, in CNS, the main excitatory neurotransmitter is glutamate. The major inhibitory transmitter is GABA. The major inhibitory transmitter. If the question asked is, what is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter? Then you have to opt for GABA. Gamma aminobutyric acid. Glycine is also another inhibitory neurotransmitter which is mainly found in the spinal cord next question question number 13 potassium arsenate solution was used in the treatment of potassium arsenate solution was used in the treatment of options are heart disease hormonal disorder leukemia antidiuretic agent Potassium arsenate solution was used in the treatment of the correct answer is leukemia. Leukemia. Leukemia is a blood cancer. It's uh, characterized by the rise in elevated number of white blood cells in your body. That's WBC count will be elevated in leukemia. The treatments nowadays for the leukemia. The treatments are include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, biological therapy, etc. Then also stem cell transplant. Question number 14. Secolaganin is one of the important precursor of biosynthesis of. Secolaganin is one of the important precursors of the biosynthesis of. Option 1, scopolamine and caffeine, quinine and vingristin, ephedrine and hyosin, morphine and berberine. Secolaganin is the one of the important precursor of the biosynthesis of the correct answer is option number 2, quinine and vingristin. Secolaganin is a precursor of quinine and vingristin. Here you can see the biosynthetic pathway of quinine, vingristin, vimblastin, reserpin, yohimbin. All these are coming from secolaganin. I already marked in the red line all these things. You can check it through mevalonic pathway. Secolaganin is produced from this secolaganin, reserpin, then quinine. Yohimbin, Vingristin, Vimblastin are synthesized. 
here you can see hyosin and scopolamine cocci nicotine biosynthetic pathways it's mainly produced from the putrescine so this one you have to note it down in the there was an option hyosin and scopolamine so if the question is came for hyosin and scopolamine you have to click for putrescine this is ephedrine biosynthetic biosynthetic pathway ephedrine and pseudoephedrine are produced from pyruvic acid from pyruvic acid the next one is the biosynthetic pathway of codeine morphine the bain and the bain it's from salutradin so these things as it is there in the options so i thought it's better to study its options also that's why i given this one okay you had noted down these things if you don't know this thing we will move to the next question before that if you can if you are if you didn't note it down you can uh, pause the video and note it down after that you can go to next video next uh, question the question number 15 niacin injection is prepared by reacting option niacin with heavy water niacin with sulfuric acid niacin with sodium hydroxide niacin with hydrochloric acid niacin injection is prepared by reacting the correct answer is niacin with sodium hydroxide question number 16 which among the following hydrocarbon have two double bond and one ring found in oil the hydrocarbon which has got two double bonds in its structure and also one ring is also the that is found in the oil options are pinene limonene borneol myrcene the correct answer is limonene we will see the structure of different options here you can see limonene that was the correct answer the question was there should be two double bonds as in the structure you can see two double bond is there and it also contain one ring the limonene has one ring in case of alpha alpha pinene and beta pinene there is a ring but there is no two double bond only one double bond is there in case of borneol ring is present but there is no double bond in case of myrcene double bonds are there me three double bonds are there even though the question was two double bonds in this three double bonds are there but it lacks a ring there is no ring in the myrcene structure so the correct answer for this question was is limonene next question question number 17 stored blood can be used for stored blood can be used for 3 weeks 6 week 3 months 6 months the correct answer is 3 weeks stored blood can be used for 3 weeks that is 21 days the combined composition of anticoagulant preservatives that you can say in the blood bank they are using this anticoagulant anticoagulant preservatives what is the composition of this anticoagulant preservatives citric acid is used in conjunction with sodium citrate and dextrose to make anticoagulant solution called acid citrus dextrose that is acd acd acid citrate dextrose that is citric acid with sodium citrate and dextrose that is acid citrate dextrose acd that is the composition of anticoagulant preservatives next question diphtheria antitoxin is prepared from diphtheria antitoxin is prepared from options are pig serum horse serum human serum none of the above the correct answer is horse serum diphtheria antitoxin is prepared from horse serum another point regarding this one is schick test schick test is is a skin test which is developed in 1913 it is used to determine whether or not a person is susceptible to diphtheria 
for the susceptibility of the diphtheria we are checking shik test shik test the question was diphtheria antitoxin is prepared from human serum sorry host serum here one of the important point regarding this diphtheria is diphtheria susceptible test which is test is used to find out the susceptibility to diphtheria that will be the questions so different four type of uh, test will be there so you had to opt for shift shik test shik test is the test is used to determine the susceptibility to diphtheria next question a study carried out in finland has cast doubt on the advisability of the routine use of hematinics because men with a higher level of ferritin were more prone to a study carried out in finland has cast doubt on the advisability of the routine use of hematinics because men with a higher level of ferritin were more prone to options are lung cancer heart attack diabetes goldston the correct answer is heart attack heart attack is the correct answer in that study in the in the study that is carried out in the finland which has uh, cast doubt on the advisability of routine use of hematinic because the routine use of hematinic causes heart attack in men with a higher level of ferritin question number 20 and the last question of this video the name of the flobafin which is present in pterocarpus marsupium is called as the name of the flobafin which is present in the pterocarpus marsupium is called options are quinoin quinotanic acid pyro pyrocatechin leucocyanidin the correct answer is quinoin flobafin present in the pterocarpus is quinoin so pterocarpus in case of pterocarpus we will study some important points what are the flobafins flobafins are they are reddish in color then alcohol soluble and also water insoluble and are phenolic substance that is flobafin in the name flobafin you can see in the last fins that is phenolic substance flobafin that is it is reddish color and also it is alcohol soluble and water insoluble they are phenolic substance also they are the flobafin the flobafin present in pterocarpus is quinoin next point regarding this one is the synonym regarding pterocarpus that is indian quino or malabar quino or rakta chandan these are the different names of pterocarpus marsupium the biological source of pterocarpus is they are the dried juice of the plant pterocarpus marsupium belonging to the family leguminosae leguminosae family the next point regarding this one is the chemical constituent 70 to 80 percentage quinotanic acid then quino red is there quinoin is there quinoin is actually they are the insoluble flobafin because they are not soluble in the water that's why it is a insoluble flobafin the chemical constituent are 70 to 80 percentage is quinotanic acid then quino red is there quinoin is also there some other material some other con constituents are also there the important constituents are these are uh, these thing the main use they are used as astringent they are used for the treatment of diarrhea and also it is a anti diabetic drug pterocarpus is also a anti diabetic drug another drug which is used as anti diabetic is gymnema gymnema is also an anti diabetic drug so these are the important points regarding pterocarpus hope you understood this one so thank you guys for watching my video and also if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe the channel and also press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever i upload new videos thank you